Bighorn sheep represents one of the most important ova species in North America. It also happens to be the last sheep I need to complete the Grand Slam of North American sheep, one of my lifelong goals in mountain hunting. The difficulty of a sheep hunt is only matched by the awe-inspiring beauty of spending time in the rugged mountains. Our adventure takes us to the spectacular mountains of British Columbia that is home to the California bighorn sheep. We will have a strong local team with tremendous knowledge of the area and the sheep to guide us on this important hunt. The terrain, weather, and the difficulty of chasing sheep in the mountains will be obstacles we have to overcome. When the opportunity presents itself, a well-placed shot at some distance will be required to close the deal. Excited to share this incredible hunt in the mountains of British Columbia for one of the most important ova species in the world at a hunter's quest. We are in beautiful southern British Columbia to complete a very important journey for me in sheep hunting. Um, we are hunting the bighorn ram, uh, California bighorn, uh, with Bear Brandau and his outfitting operation. Um, this ram will help me complete the Grand Slam of North American sheep, as well as the Triple Slam, and from a sheep hunter's perspective, uh, it is uh, one of the more important accomplishments uh, in Grand Slam Ovis. Um, I have been a reluctant sheep hunter. Uh, I have come to appreciate these grand animals over the last uh, eight, ten years of hunting. Uh, no sheep hunt is easy and uh, I have hunted the bighorn in Alberta without success so this uh, hunt has additional significance for me. I'm also privileged enough to have uh, Cody here to film the whole process and that's something I'm very excited about as well. So uh, we have uh, started our first morning. Uh, we've seen multiple rams. Uh, this is quite an area uh, that the animals are thriving in and we look forward to hopefully in the next couple of days uh, finishing a very important journey for me. We're uh, taking a look at a, a group of six rams over here with what we think could be a possible shooter. It's a quite exciting first morning out and we've already seen more than a dozen rams. This is a very special area Bear and his family have been able to cultivate. They put a lot of resources into protecting these sheep and uh, quite exciting on the first morning of a hunt to see so many, so many nice rams already. And uh, we're gonna be patient continue to glass and find the right, right ram to harvest. We are going to go get set up here and hope the rams come towards a spot that they feel that they're going to walk up to. The stock is starting. Flat spot here. Well, we are watching our group of six sheep with our 
absolutely beautiful, big California bighorn at about 500 yards. I'm not pulling this trigger chance till you and I both are 100% sure that it's the right one. We have the rams across a big canyon. Right now they're at about 400 yards, which is a very makeable shot, but they seem to be moving our direction. And uh, the consensus is that we're gonna wait to see if they get a little closer. The big ram is uh, as good, if not better than we thought. And uh, very exciting to uh, be on them and hopefully get it done here very shortly. Well, they came to 400 yards and uh, a collective decision was made to uh, wait versus taking the shot. And uh, we're gonna, they're now climbing back up the hill. We're gonna be patient, let them bed, and uh, I would think put a stock on them again uh, later in a much better position. I, as difficult as the decision is to not take a 400 yard shot, I understand uh, Bear and Barb's thought process of trying to get a closer shot.
suspect and try and get the position. So when we get the shot on the big boy, we can take it. What a ram. Oh. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wow. This is a giant. Look at this ram. Look at these bases. This is bigger than most bighorns in Alberta. Actually, it is bigger than most bighorns in Alberta. We didn't make a mistake shooting this guy. I'm reckoning this is going to be a, at least an eight-year-old ram. I couldn't imagine putting anything less on him. Heavy all the way to the tips, broomed, incredible. What a grand way to finish my Grand Slam of North American Sheep and my Triple Slam. Unreal. All right, so it took me uh, 35 different animals to get my uh, Triple Slam. <laughs> But here we go, um, this spectacular, no other way to say it, California Bighorn completes my Grand Slam of North American Sheep as well as my Triple Slam. And I must say, when I first talked to Bear about coming here, um, highly recommended by uh, John Seaver, another outfitter, I could not have imagined taking an animal uh, of this caliber. I'll be the first to admit I'm not the greatest sheep hunter in the world, but how gratifying to harvest an animal of this caliber from the age class. Uh, clearly, the hard work uh, the Brandaus are doing here up on the mountain are paying massive dividends. Game management at its finest, and it's uh, wonderful to know that these kinds of animals are still available to be hunted with people that take care of the mountain and take care of the animals. Um, this is uh, one of my great dreams in the hunting world to complete a triple slam and uh, sheep hunting obviously is so valued because of the difficulty uh, and I am extremely proud to have uh, finished not only the triple slam but the grand slam with such a majestic animal. We just packed out after getting our fantastic California Bighorn Ram caped and the meat processed. We had a little bit of a rough canyon to navigate there, but we are done. Uh, the uh, journey to get the Triple Slam was incredibly fulfilling, difficult as most mountain hunts can be, and we ended it all on such a wonderful note. So excited to get the sheep representing the Grand Slam on my mountain and on to other, other adventures. The hunt for the California Bighorn lived up to my highest expectations. Simply walking in the mountains of British Columbia was a breathtaking experience. We were able to focus our efforts on a bachelor herd of mature rams in a remote corner of the concession, thanks to some pre-scouting by our expert guides. I immediately had high hopes for a successful hunt as several nice rams were spotted. After making our way through some difficult terrain, we made our way into the area where the sheep were and finally laid eyes on the herd. To our great surprise, an exceptional ram had joined the bachelor herd. A challenging and difficult stop was needed to get above the bedded rams. Just as we moved into position, the herd began to move. With the success of the hunt on the line, I took a quick 300-yard shot that found its mark. 
Walking up to the fallen monarch of the mountain was an emotional moment for me. The reality of completing my North American Grand Slam hit me. Each and every Wolves hunt is a highly prized due to the extreme challenges involved. I'm so fortunate to have captured this incredible hunt on film, and it means a great deal to share it with you here at Hunter's Quest.